Would you be interested in taking your injection once a month? then keep listening. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Megan. I'm a board certified physician in internal medicine, lifestyle medicine, and obesity medicine. And this is really important because I actually prescribe these medications all the time. I actually talk to patients about their weight all the time. I've helped hundreds of patients lose weight, and I'm here to help you too. So if you're confused about your weight, if you have questions about weight medicines, and if you want medically based, fact-based answers that are longer than like 20 seconds, you're in the right place. Now, did I hear that you might be interested in not injecting yourself once a week, but injecting yourself once a month? Is that at all appealing to anybody? I think so. So today I'm talking about Maritide, which is not on the market yet, but is an extremely promising, extremely exciting medication that is currently being developed and is very close to being sent to the FDA, probably within the next year or so. I talked a little bit about this on my video about five upcoming medications, but I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail here. And first of all, Maritide is a very interesting medication because it is a GLP-1 agonist like the other medications. Um, it activates that pathway, but it also is an antagonist for GIP, which is a little bit different than terzepatide. Now terzepatide is a GLP-1 agonist and a GIP agonist, but here GIP is being shut off as opposed to turned on. So there was a study that came out in 2025 that gave us a lot more detail about Maritide and what it can do. It was a year long study and they found that with real world use, people were losing about 12 to 16% of their total body weight, which is very similar to Wagovi. However, unlike Wagovi, which people have to, or semaglutide as it's also known, and Ozempic as it's also known, unlike Wagovi, this shot can be dosed once a month. And as you can imagine, this could make a very big difference in accessibility, in pricing, in side effects, in those injection site reactions that everybody's having a really, that's really annoying to everybody, right? And I also find a big hurdle for people is they just don't want to inject themselves every week. It's annoying for them. The time, like it kind of messes up their weekend or their work schedule because they know, you know, they're either tired afterwards or they're not hungry or, and a lot of people just really don't like the idea of being on something forever. However, I think that would also help a lot of people get on board with these medications if they needed them, if they only have to do it once a month. Now, the side effect profile was very similar to the GLP-1s as a whole. Nausea, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, those are the big ones. They were better when people started at a lower dose and did a dose escalation, as you would imagine, as opposed to just starting on one dose and not scaling up. Now, what's next for this medication? Well, we're really waiting on phase three data, which is when this medication is tested on a much larger group of people. We get a much better sense of the side effects of the dosing and what's appropriate, uh, how many people discontinue the medications. Those are all really, really important pieces of data. And so we'll learn a lot more about that when the phase three data is published. Also, Amgen is, which is the, um, the company that is the pharmaceutical company that is making this medication. They're also looking at how this works for people with cardiovascular disease, with heart failure, and with sleep apnea. Now that's also extremely important because these are other pathways that people might be able to get medi these medications approved if say their insurance company doesn't approve obesity medication. So all these other indications are extremely helpful for access. My overall impression with the data that we have is that this is a very impressive medication that is on par with Wagovi with the added benefit of the once a month dosing, which could really help improve access for people, hopefully would help with cost and might really get a lot of people who need a medication like this, but are scared because of needles or they just don't like 
taking something a lot, it might get those people on board um, and really help them get healthy in a way that they might not have been able to before. So keep your eyes out for that. Let me know what questions you have. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can leave them on this video or you can leave them on another video. And if you wanna work with me directly, I will leave all that info below. I do work with people around the world as a life coach, helping them with the non-medical aspects of their weight loss. So if they're on a GLP-1 medication, still having issues with getting to the gym, still having issues with how they're eating. I help people with all that and so much more. So I'll leave all that info down below. Thank you so much for watching and please be well.